In the world of track and field, Noah Lyles is a name that resonates with speed, power, and charisma. But recently, his reputation took a surprising hit when rumors began to circulate about his performance at the men's 200-meter finals. Lyles, who was widely expected to dominate the race, fell short of the gold medal, finishing behind his rivals in a shocking turn of events. However, it wasn't just his loss that made headlines. Shortly after the race, Lyles claimed he had been battling COVID-19, a revelation that raised more questions than it answered. If he was truly sick, why was he allowed to compete? And if not, was this just an excuse to explain his unexpected defeat? The track world was abuzz with speculation. Some critics argued that Lyle's claim of having COVID-19 was nothing more than a cover-up for his poor performance. They pointed out that if he genuinely had the virus, running the race would have been not only dangerous for him, but also irresponsible, potentially putting other athletes at risk. Fans and commentators alike were divided. On one side, there were those who believed that Lyles was simply being honest about his health struggles. On the other, skeptics couldn't help but feel that the timing of his announcement was too convenient, a way to deflect from the disappointment of not clinching the gold. As the controversy grew, so did the pressure on Lyles to clarify the situation. In interviews, he maintained that he had indeed been dealing with symptoms leading up to the race, but had tested negative for COVID-19 just before competing. His team insisted that he was cleared by medical professionals and that he would never knowingly endanger others. Despite these assurances, the shadow of doubt lingered. Was this a case of bad luck or a desperate attempt to save face? The truth may never be fully known, but the incident has left a mark on Lyles' career, reminding everyone that in the high-stakes world of sports, the line between triumph and scandal is often razor thin.